10 cents. Yes, so we will talk about savings today. Who can tell me what savings means? You can even tell me what it means in German because I know that word. Uh, my name is Chase Morgan. Uh, I'm working for my finance coach. Um, could you so as a finance coach, uh, we deliver lessons, critical topics for uh, students uh, to try to convey or project uh, some type of financial literacy to the students. I think anytime we, we get in touch with the students, it's one meaningful thing. For example, um, if they could just save a little bit more instead of spending money on the weekends, if they can think twice before going to buy that new cell phone, uh, I think that's something that um, is a small win for us. Um, the one I think that Manuel mentioned here was security. Um, do you guys understand this? My name is Joachim Winter. I'm a professor of economics here at the University of Munich and my research focuses on household finance and also on survey design. In our study we interviewed about a thousand uh, children, half of whom had participated in the My Finance Coach training, the other half had not, and we found significant and large differences in uh, their self-assessed knowledge about financial matters, in their interest about financial matters, but also in some objectively measured dimensions, you know, how much they know about certain financial products. Financial decisions depend not only on the amount of information that you have and on specific decision-making skills, specific competences, but also on deep-rooted preferences and habits. And there's a lot of evidence that these preferences and habits are formed very early in life and it's hard to change them later in life. So it's very hard to change habits that you have used for a long time when you are an adult. Um, it might be easier to still change these habits among teenagers and that's where our current uh, research focuses. Okay. Um, because we've got a high security. Okay, uh, I don't think it's that safe. Is it that safe? Yeah, if you have a high security. Yeah, I think uh, it came across very clear in one of the lessons we were doing uh, in the environmental area. And it basically broke down the cost of cell phones. Uh, it was very eye-opening to them to see, okay, well, half of my money goes to my cell phone payment, uh, and then the other half I'm left for the rest of the month. So I think that's one of those aha moments. You really see in their mind, first you have to relate it to something that they know, and then you have to translate that over to a more complicated topic, such as savings products. And she says, oh, I really need this euro. I, need I get um, about 30 euros a month from my parents' pocket money, and I'm saving for a new smartphone, and I think about the new information I got from this, I know how to save my money for it. If I can prevent one student from spending 10 euros, say, on something small and maybe keep his mind on the bigger picture in the future, I think that's a win for us and I think that's uh, what we're aiming to do.